Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. UNCR, Universal Center for Renovation. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John 8 and 32. Alexander Dumas was a French writer. One of his most well-known work of literature was the French historical adventure novel written in 1844, The Three Musketeers. The main characters of the novel, The Musketeers of the Guard, or King's Musketeers were people of color, just like the author. Physical description of D'Artagnan, face long and brown, high cheekbones, a sign of sagacity, the maxillary muscles, enormously developed an infallible sign by which a Gascon may always be detected the three musketeers chapter one D'Artagnan was part of the 2% ruling class of France. In his adventures, the other classes of people are easily distinguishable, such as Planchet, D'Artagnan, personal servant. Edda, Isaac, Mencken, Wikipedia, Edda Isaacs Mencken, was an American actress, painter, and poet, and was the highest earning actress of her time. Mencken told many versions of her origins including her name, place of birth, ancestry, and religion, and historians have differed in their accounts. Most have said she was born a Louisiana Creole Catholic with European and African ancestry. Ada kept her ethnic identity a mystery. Early life and Education. About 1940, the consensus of scholars was that her parents was Auguste Theodore, a free black man, and Marie, a mixed race Creole, and Ada was raised as a Catholic. There's only one reason for this to hide your identity when it can be disadvantageous. Blending in or assimilating 
was something that was commonly practiced with the Israelites. Ida hid her identity as her forefathers had done thousands of years before her time when they were in a difficult situation. Abraham asked his wife, Sarah, to disguise her identity around the Egyptians. Genesis 12 chapter, verse 11 through 20. Genesis chapter 12, verse 11. And it came to pass when he was come near to enter into Egypt, that he said unto Sarai, his wife, Behold, now I know that thou art a fair woman to look upon. And it will come to pass when the Egyptians shall see thee, that they will say, This is his wife, and they will kill me. But thee they will keep alive. Say, I pray thee, thou art my sister, that it may be well with me for thy sake, and that my soul may live because of thee. Joseph the father of the Israelite tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh was sold by his brothers into the hands of the Ishmaelites, Arab merchants. The Ishmaelites, Arabs, sold Joseph to the Egyptians, Nilotic peoples. But in the process of time, Joseph was elevated in status among the Egyptians from a slave to the highest position in Egypt. Only the Pharaoh was above him. Eventually, a famine and lack of food occurred in the land of Canaan the place where the brothers of Joseph lived. And Joseph, brothers, the fathers of the tribes of Israel, purchased food from the ruler of Egypt, second in command, their own brother. His own brothers didn't recognize him because he hid his identity and assimilated into Egyptian society. And Joseph, his Egyptian name, Zafnath Pania. Joseph didn't lose his identity. He hid his identity. Genesis chapter 42 43, 44, 45, and 46. He never forgot that he was an Hebrew by birth and culture. Moses was preserved from death by drowning. The decree issued by the Egyptian pharaoh against the Hebrews' male children. He was raised by that same 
Pharaoh's daughter as an Egyptian. Moses passed for an Egyptian, but he never forgot that he was a Hebrew. Eventually, Moses, who was assimilated with the Egyptian nation, was destined to play a great role in the deliverance of the Israelite nation out of Egypt and slavery. And the book of Exodus records the history of Moses, Job 8 and 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. Put the question to our ancestors. Study what they learned from their ancestors. For we're newcomers at this, with a lot to learn, and not too long to learn it. So why not let the ancients teach you, tell you what's what, instruct you in what they knew from experience? Job chapter 8, verse 8 through 10, MSG translation. There is a lot to learn from the history of the Israelites. There were people with great wisdom. When applied properly, it helped them and guided them in difficult situations. They searched their records when they needed to make important decisions in life. They didn't navigate this world blindly. The inspired word of their God was a light to them. If you study the scriptures, you can find patterns of behavior displayed by the Israelites when they were in captivity, they served in prominent positions at times, hidden sometimes in plain sight. Hadessa, Esther, Israelite wife of Ahasuerus, king of the Persian Empire, 13th century, Russian icon. Esther had not revealed her nationality and family background because Mordecai had forbidden her to do so. Esther chapter 2 verse 10. Ahasuerus also known as Xerxes the first, and Esther. Henry's, Eleanor's, and Richard's effigies at Frontward's Abbey near Chayon in Alju, France. Henry, Eleanor, Richard. Shortly after separating herself from Louis the Seventh, Eleanor married Henry the Second, Plantagenet, King of England. Henry was active and energetic, both on the battlefield and in the bedroom. He expanded his holdings, and as his reign progressed, he had many children with Eleanor. Tensions over the future inheritance 
of the empire begin to emerge. Encouraged first by Louis VII and then Louis' son and successor, Philip Augustus. Some of Henry's son, assisted by Eleanor, revolted, but were defeated. Henry imprisoned Eleanor for years, but she outlived him and was released by her son, Richard the Lion Hearted. After Richard died, Eleanor's own favorite son, John, reigned and lost much of Henry's empire. Lionheart in Lackland, page 8. Eleanor of Equitaine had a dark complexion, black eyes, black hair, and was curvaceous with a superb figure that never ran to fat, even in old age. She was also at the time the Western world's richest and most prestigious heiress. From her father, Duke William X, ruler of a dynasty originally established in Poitiers, in the ninth century, and thus, in many ways, very like the Angevins, she had inherited vast territories. Richard the Lion Hearted, King of England. This image or effigy is from uh, Krakow, Poland, Collegium, Myers, Kazimierz, Wykaya, Wikimedia Commons. English statue of Kazimierz the Third of Poland and Collegium Myers, Krakow, Poland. Kazimir the Third, the Great, King of Poland. A Judeo Syrian. Augustinian Church, Vienna, Austria, originally built in the 14th century as the parish church of the imperial court of the Habsburgs. As imperial church, many Habsburg weddings took place there, including the wedding of Archduchess and future Empress Maria Tressa, in 1736, to Duke Francis of Lorraine, the wedding of Archduchess Maria Louise, in 1810, to Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte of France, Marie Leo Paulina, in 1817, to Don Pedro of Portugal, and the wedding of Emperor Franz Joseph in 1854 to Justice Elizabeth in Bavaria. Augustinian Church, Vienna, Austria.
Our Lady of Loreto, Vienna, Austria, 1627 A Judeo Syrians. <laughs> 